people, welcome to another edition of that thing it's up in frenzy. We all know and love the WWE Supercard and me, Big Jim, here at Snorlax HQ. Now, it is a Saturday today. It's Saturday and part of the Dean Ambrose Ring Dommy Dim Dom. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the evening here in the UK, in Londinium. And I only just started playing. I've been working my proverbials off um, all this week and into the weekend. So uh, I was only able to start playing about two hours ago. So barely made any headway at all into uh, Ring Dom. I've uh, got a few shards, about 10 I think, uh, so far. But as you can see, I've got myself some doublers, some geared up. I'm going to certainly make a crack on getting the Dean Ambrose card. Um, I need it. I'm down on event cards with work and everything else that's been going on. So I do need to try and get it. But the important thing for today, much more important for today, and in fact right now, we're going to find out right now, first is some Team Battleground rewards to collect. Not a great track record of getting any Shattered cards from TBG rewards, but we'll see what we get there. But more importantly, I have to collect a Fusion. So it's right there. I could press the button now, but I'm not going to because I like to talk about it first. Uh, so we're going to my cards. I'll just go into uh, Filters. General. Just you try, General. Right, done. And you will see I have... A cam. He's ready to go. He's fully powered up. He's got his fully beansed. He's ready to hit the scene as is Bautista. Uh, right, now I would like that Bautista card, I have to say. It's a powerful, powerful looking card. Um, and then on the female front, oh, she's right there anyway. <laughs> a Ruby, Ruby, Ruby! Ruby Riot. Now, I've got Ruby Riot. I would be farting for joy because I'm still stuck. Still stuck right now, if we're going to deck editor, with um, gothic pro females as my best females. I'm just, just not getting the luck with the females. Just don't have the luck with the females. Big Jim's not having the luck with the females. If we go back into my cards, take off the filters. Don't need those. Um, actually, I should have a bit of a doofus. Should have put females, shouldn't I? That would have been a lot easier. Um, there you can see, look, five gothic pro females. There's my shattered individuals, including Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. And then, so just single, 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 single. Not good. Got to get myself, um, got to get myself a pro here. So, certainly, um, Ruby Wright, if she appeared, that would be, I uh, predict a riot. That would be a riot. That would be happy days. Uh, all that would, of course, completely unbalance my deck when it comes to things like uh, Last Man Standing. But I worry about that. At the time, should it ever occur, because uh, it hasn't occurred so far. Let's do Team Battlegrounds first, because that's the more boring one, and um, it'll just drive you a bit nuts for a bit longer. Because I, I know you all like to put down below, put your little time code, you know, oh, two minutes twenty, just to give the game away for people. But actually, why don't, those of you who are watching, and, uh, just to not give the game away, why don't you just all go down in the comments below and just put random time codes? Then people will come in. It just really annoy people. That's what we're here for. No one really enjoys these videos. You just get annoyed watching this, don't you? You just annoy everyone by putting a random time code down below. People are like, what? I keep looking at these things and it's not happening. Look, there's a lot of messages here. Uh, I'm not going to read everyone's names out. But you can see your names here from... Uh, how do you pronounce that one? Shashwath down to King Bone and Aquasi to Persnickety... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Aiden down to Ancy Spotted Drawing, <laughs> some great names here. Uh, Adam Jardine or Jardine or Jardine or Jardin uh, to Ivy MCFC, uh, Man City supporter perhaps. Uh, uh, Albie Loveridge and uh, Jeff and Samuel. Uh, thanks for all of you who are saying, Can you join the team? Uh, we've got 10 people in the team, we're uh, chuntering along or chugging along. Quite nicely, thanks. But I do appreciate all your messages and just those people who've said you enjoy watching the channel. Thanks ever so much for those two. As I've said, this is the first time I've really logged in for a couple of days. So in fact, you'll see this team battleground. I didn't even play my matches. I mean, I knew we were winning so and so, it was like nine thousand to nil or something. So it wasn't that important. But I just haven't had a chance to play at all. So really, really, I don't deserve to get a shattered card from this because um, I didn't put the effort in. Look at that. Nine, 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 
That's four unhappy Germans. All uh, right, here we go. And, oh, look at that. Neon Central. Well, is there a female in here, though? I think that could be a pro. I think that's a pro, isn't it? Could I get another female? No, I couldn't. I think name is a pro. That that's that's useful. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm getting overexcited now. I'm pretty sure name is a pro because it's not a very good image of her. Um, let's go back into cards. I'm sure that you've all spotted already which cards I had. Uh, yes, look, look, nim nom nimily. I've got myself a female pro. It did work. It did work. Now then. What if I was to get Ruby Wright from, you know what I'm going to say, uh, from a random pull? No, from my uh, Fusion. Let's go and have a look in the Fusion Chamber. The Fusion Chamber! Long John Silver and the Pirates in the Fusion Chamber! Got to go back to Season 1 to find out what on earth that's all about. Um, so let's do it, shall I? So stop waffling. Oh, I've been winding you up enough. Let's do this. I want to see the Roobster. I want to see Ruby Wright's face. Appearing right in front of these very eyes, right here. I want to see. It's a pro. It's a pro. It's not a pro. It's not a cam. It's Razar. It's another single. Just trying to get myself too excited there. It's a Razar. Oh man, so I'm going to have to wait goes on. So what do we have to wait for that? It's five days, isn't it? Five days for that. 14 hours for the next pro to come through. It's another six day wait. Well, look, look at it this way. I've got now what, three males and one female out of all of those possible. Let's just go into them again. I, don't, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. There's gold dust. Uh, Batista, you've seen. A cam, you've seen. A Razar's just arrived. Finn Balor, my lord, Finn Balor. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. And right at the end, uh, uh, the big lacy. So, what's the betting? I'll get a single next time around. That is so frustrating. I, I really thought it was on a roll there. Look, anyway, I've got, I've got a neon pro nim nom nimini. That's, that's a start. That's something. Um, albeit, I won't be able to use uh, this present event to power her up, will I? Oh, man, that's so frustrating. When it wasn't Ruby, I saw the shaved heads and I thought, oh, okay, it's a cam, could be a pro. And it's like, oh, that's resolved. Well, uh, there. So that's that. Uh, we'll just do one ring dummy dim dum uh, while I'm here. It's a rare chance to play, so we'd better get on with it. Um, and then I need to get this video up onto YouTube for you guys. Uh, how are you guys uh, finding Supercard in general? I've been quite surprised. Actually, just, just a moment. Guinness. It's good for you. Cheers. Albeit, that's not a regular Guinness, that is a special West Indies Guinness. It's not so bitter as the standard Guinness. It's a very smooth pint, very nice dark ale. Thoroughly recommended for you beer aficionados out there. Maybe I should just do a YouTube channel on beer. I'm sure I'd get plenty of videos out. If I had to do a YouTube channel on beer, there'd be more than one video an evening, I'm sure. But that's another story. Uh, let's get back onto this. Yeah, I was going to say to you, um, how are you getting on with Supercard in general? The reason I'm asking is, my personal circumstances have changed quite considerably over these last six to eight months, uh, which has made um, getting a haircut and doing Supercard and doing YouTube um, to the extent that I was impossible. I just got, I can't be playing as much as I used to be. Um, but equally, as you've noticed, the videos are down to sort of one or two a week as opposed to every day or every other day. Uh, but that happens. You know, things in life do change. Circumstances do change. Um, but I, it's been interesting to note, we've had a couple of people leaving Team Bad Lad Dad, not because uh, they were unhappy with Team Bad Lad Dad. They've stopped playing. They've had enough. Um... They've um, and they were doing well. They've, they've got some good cards. They were doing well in in the game, but they've they've just come to the same conclusion that after four years of this five seasons, it's uh, it just expects too much. I think one of the killers for a lot of people uh, was heroic mode. Once that came in, and you had to start doing Road to Glory uh, twice over. Um, 
that was bad enough. We obviously we lost uh, PCC, which was quite uh, popular. Um, and the new game modes, I mean, they've tried. They have tried, bless them. They have tried to bring in things that we find uh, more exciting, OTL and obviously Last Man Standing. But it hasn't quite hit the mark, has it? It hasn't quite uh, hit the money. I have to say, um, ironically, Last Man Standing, for somebody like me now who can't play as much as I was, is quite a good mode because people seem to get to a certain limit and then they back off. Now, whether that's because the way they play, they get to a certain point and then they would have to spend a lot on um, extra bits and pieces. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I do tend to find on a Sunday, when I, that's when I'm really trying to gun through it, that um, I can make quite good headway up the uh, up the rankings. I mean, I'm only talking about getting up to about 3,000, but when you've started off at around uh, 11 or 12,000 in the morning, um, that's still quite decent progress. Uh, so yeah, I do get a card of sorts from that. Whereas uh, Road to Glory, I mean, I, and even Ringdom, I've got through halfway through so many event cards in this tier, um, and just just not had the time to to do it, and it gets frustrating. But to be quite honest with you, um, I was thinking about it uh, yesterday when I should have been working. I was just taking a little break from work, having a cup of tea, a nice cup of tea. And I was thinking that, um, has it changed my enjoyment of the game, not being able to get the event cards? And I'll be t to be quite honest, all I'm really doing in King of the Ring now, these days, I seem to be is powering cards up. Again, thanks to all of you who've uh, said you were in my latest King of the Ring, whenever the latest was, might have been today, yesterday, what have you. But I do tend to, these days, just use King of the Ring to power cards up. So um, you'll find me not in shattered mode, but I'm scruffling around sort of shattered or... Uh, sh you won't find me in shattered. You'll see me in shattered. You won't find me in shattered mode. You'll find me uh, knocking around neon or even sometimes gothic, uh, but then uh, not powering up because I've just got the cards in there to to be uh, levelled out themselves. So I don't, I don't really need to have the best deck in the world, to be quite honest. It's not needed. Um, and I can dip in, as I am now, just sort of playing uh, in general and have a few wild matches and what have you. But um, it's really, it's a bragging rights thing, isn't it, when you've got the best cards? It is for the bragging rights. And so, yeah, I've got that. There's a sense of achievement. There is a certain sense of achievement granted when you've got the cards. Um, but a real passion killer for me was Heroic Mode. And as I say... There's now quite a few highly ranked, top-notch players who uh, have just walked away. They've just walked away. They've had enough. I managed to lose that. How did I lose that last one? See, the trouble is, I start chatting to you guys and gals, and uh, I don't pay close enough attention to what it is I'm actually doing, and then I end up either throwing something in. See, I, I didn't look at the uh, fact that I could have lost... There's only one stat I could have lost to Shinsuke there. Isn't there? My Alexander card. And I uh, must have obviously lost it uh, that way. Fiddly D. Uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, so are you guys are you guys still as happy with the game as you were? I mean, I know some of you are new to the game. You're like, well, what are you all about? It's fantastic. It's the best game I've ever played. Uh, believe me, that feeling does last for a long, 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 long time. Um, but if you've been there since season one, which... Uh, quite a few of us have uh, that's, that's a big period of your life especially for you, you youngsters out there you young whippersnappers for someone like me it's a lot smaller period of my life but for you guys when you could be out and about socialising having some fun and getting up to all sorts of things um, trying to play supercard that demands so much of your attention I can imagine it's quite a struggle and a strain in a nice way, but uh, you know, in the, compared to most things that crop up in life, which are struggle and strain, which are actually quite serious, um, it's not exactly that bad. Anyway, there we have it. So, look, what well, summary of that is, I'm flipping annoyed with the shattered fusion, but what can I do? You can't do anything about it. Um, I've got myself a new on pro female. That's excellent, although I obviously can't power up here. I have to get the uh, um, elimination chamber into action. And... Um, I'm still playing, although nowhere near to the extent 
that you're used to seeing me play. Uh, but there's not much I can do about that. Uh, as I've mentioned, there's other things that are going on in life right now. Um, earning money is obviously one of them. We've got to earn a living and uh, the various other things that we've touched on before. So, uh, and again, Ninja Boy does appreciate your comments. He does see your comments, but um, he's obviously not been around for a couple of months either. Uh, in the videos, although he's just in the next room now, I can hear him telling his mum off for something. I don't know what she's done. It's always fun to hear the, the tables being turned. Anyway, I don't mean figuratively. No, I do mean figuratively. I don't mean literally. There you go. You wouldn't think I was a journalist, would you? Anyway, there we go. That's it for today and another WWE Supercard. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Subscribe down below. Buy me a few likes if you thought it was worthwhile. And if you didn't, just don't then. It's fine. And of course, there's all the other social media. There's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's Twitter. It was my own Instagram as well. If you look at my own Instagram, uh, Jim Monroe, you can see pictures out my office window in Piccadilly. It's very nice and exciting for you. I'm sure you want to see that of London, don't you? Anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks ever so much. Until I see you next time, you stay a cool. People say to me all the time, hey, Johnny Wrestling, what does it take to become a winner? To those people, I say, Try watching Bad Lad Dad's latest video. He'll show you just what it takes to become a WWE Supercard Champion.